Abi yes with John. Yeah. Hey, I'm sure you're going to fall from. Not at all. I don't believe it that way. On the comfort of the place. Monkey. <coughs> okay. Jai Shri Krishna. Assalamualaikum. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so this is your card. So today we are going to see about an important channel that is a wise woman tradition. Okay. So this is a channel by Susan Weed, a good, a, one of the best grandmoms in the world. So she makes videos on herbal things, herbs, and medicinal plants, etc. So. You have to learn a lot from her actually. So let's see a little things about her. She was um she left her high school in junior grades and uh, went to UCLA to pursue um, um studies in artificial intelligence and mathematics. And after that, she left college to pursue life. Life means life. That is having grandchildren, etc. So also. She was, she she is actually an inspiration to all the people. She has opened a, um, a channel called Wise Woman Tradition. This particular channel, Wise Woman Tradition, has 200 plus videos. So please go to her videos, download the important ones if you want. They are full of lots of herbal information. So I request you to do that. And even for other videos, do the same thing because this thing might help you uh, later on. So because what if the internet goes past and this you don't have any information to download etc so we, we, we have to be a little more um we have to download all the videos that we find very useful and keep it because you won't find that later and she's an inspiration to all grandmoms in the world and please watch her channel wise woman tradition and then download the videos and use them for your purposes because then it's very good since this this person is really great so um that's about susan weed who has opened a channel called wise woman tradition please watch her channel it's very good it, it has all herbs in it so she talks about tinctures etc how to make it she has a granddaughter also so thank you jai shri krishna bye bye one second avidya Can you see me? Yeah, everyone can see you. Okay. So. Bye. I'm on top of a tree. You know how many centimeters that is? From down. I know that. I'll show them. Yeah. This is a tree starting. And it goes up, up, up. And there is my brother, monkey of the century. <laughs> End the video, I mean, a crucial moment because I don't think this branch will support me for my rest of my life. End the video! I said end! No, I won't. Yeah. Okay, so bye guys. Bye guys, I said bye! <laughs> Great blessings. I'm Susan Weed. One this is oh, thank you. One, this is my granddaughter. One, one for you to choose. Monica Jean, herbal medicine is people's medicine. So we're here in a vacant lot, surrounded by an abundance of plants. Right here is grapevine. In front of me is motherwort. In front of the motherwort is five finger ivy, also known as Virginia creeper. Here is. Queen Anne's Lace. Here is some sometimes called English plantain or long leaf plantain. And oh right over there there's a little bit of oxalis or sourgrass. Mm, yum, yum, yum. That is so delicious. And then we'll get to them and show yeah, them to you in a little while. There's some. Find us so slippery. Aren't they though? There's some uh, goldenrod. There's some poke root. There's sassafras. There's lots of things here in this meadow, 
and we are going to show you all of the things that are right outside your door so that you can use them. Now, some of the things we're just going to harvest and eat, like the grape tendrils, and some of the things we're actually going to prepare. And we're going to prepare a tincture of motherwort. This is Leonurus cardiaca, and I make that tincture with 100 proof vodka. Here are the smaller leaves of the motherwort. And as you see, the smaller leaves look kind of like maple leaves when the plant is young. And then as it begins to flower, the leaves get smaller and have three points. So we're going to harvest the flowering top of the motherwort. We're going to cut that motherwort. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put it in our jar. Going to cut it up in pieces. That's wonderful. Thank you for your help, Monica Jean. Yes. And what we want to do is we want to have enough motherwort to fill our jar. So let's get some more motherwort from over here. Cut some more up. Can you help me push that down in the jar there? Sure. Thanks. Maybe I can do it. Ooh, that's, uh, the seed pods are a little stickery, aren't they? Yeah. They don't really hurt you, but they feel like they could hurt you. Oh, I think we got that pretty well packed there, don't we? Okay. It's so easy to make a tincture that even a child can do it. Would you like to pour this on our motherwort? Okay. There we go. We filled our jar up with our fresh plant material. We cut it up a little bit so it would fit in the jar. And now Monica Jean is adding 100 proof vodka to it. And oh, don't forget to put these two leaves in. Okay, we better put those down under there, huh? And you know what? Sometimes if it doesn't fit, I just take my scissors in there and I cut it up a little bit more so that it all fits underneath the liquid really well. You know what was in this jar? Daddy. Baby food from when you were a baby and we saved the jars so that we could make tinctures. And then, of course, the really important part is put a label on your tincture. This is Motherwort Tincture, July 2012. Okay, and this will be ready to use in six weeks. Let's bite it. Okay, we will. Green blessings.